Remember that in the 1970s, they used the fish sign to symbolize Jesus? You see, this is an example of nature speaking directly to us, and we didn't even notice. It's not that Jesus is the fish. We are all the fish. That's what Mother Nature was trying to tell us. We live in a giant fish bowl. Look at this video and tell me if this doesn't look like waves in the ocean. A few days ago, while chatting with one of my magical plants, she told me, out of nowhere as usual, to look up Jesus Fish. I immediately remembered a few days prior to that watching a medical podcast I follow where they were discussing street art being removed from the streets of Washington because the posters were criticizing President Brand and his response to the pandemic. They then went on to point that in the 70s, yes, hippie times, times when we first started the process of making our peace with Mother Nature, by the way, as soon as the chemical compound of LSD, DMT, and magic mushrooms are discovered, we were able to stop a whole war in Asia by simply refusing to kill our own species. But I digress. In this podcast, they went on to point out that in that time, time when those chemicals of nature were rediscovered, I might point out, Christians were using this symbol to represent their faith. Some possibly high. So when my flower friend told me to look up Jesus Fish, I felt like she had already tried to talk to me through that podcast. The hair on the back of my neck stood up as I was creeped out by it. Then I immediately googled Jesus Fish. I went to the Wikipedia page and guess what I saw? The oldest we know about this symbol is that it was used by early Christians escaping from the Roman Empire. Then I see this. The oracles utter divine revelations in a frenzy state, aka tripping, high as a kite, on cloud nine or whatever you want to call it. The truth is, God, or whatever you want to call it, I call them many things. Lately, I've been calling it the source, just like the source of love, but the source to those close to her. But once again, I digress. You will find many accounts of oracles like the ones from Delphi, Delphi, Defy. Those oracles were channeling the divine while having acacia plants burning in pits in front of them. Acacia has DMT, so naturally they were seeing the divine. They were seeing the machine elves, the current DMT psychonauts see. They were seeing the elders as the shamans tell their tribes. They were seeing the dead. But that's for another video. For now, I just see that our magical friends are once again telling me to tell you that we are all part of it all. Just like a fish in the sea, as above in the skies, so is below. One earth, so is below in the ocean, so is below in other places. But the point is, we are one. 